right, I'm bored, so I want to take something to bits. I have this old pressure stat, I think. I really didn't look at the name of it, but basically it's from our old washing machine. can tell when um, I think there's enough water in the drum that uses pressure to change the contacts. So these two pins in the middle uh, seem to have continuity when it's uh, got enough pressure in there but I'm interested to see how it works and what's in it so let's rip it open there's probably a better way to open this but I don't care Well, that's uh, anticlimactic. Still works. Oh, well, that, it's, it's just a switch triggered by that. That is, uh, as I say, very anticlimactic. I was expecting something much more substantial or interesting in there, but I guess simplicity wins. That's literally it. So that terminal there goes on to that can't quite tell what makes contact oh let's try and rip it to bits then Doesn't click anymore now. Looks like it's riveted down onto this middle section. Can't quite work out what actually makes the contact. Doesn't look like that goes. Well, maybe it does go down. Ah, there might be two two levels of. Uh, contact there. You've got the one here, which is just under I think where my thumb is, and then when it gets full even more it makes contact to that pin there using a tiny bit of metal. So you can tell it's about to overflow. Ah, maybe the contacts at Aha, okay, so the first contact is at the back there. It's uh, this stuff over here is a bit of a red herring, so let's try and jam that back in. So pressure light pressure 
causes. Where's the rocker gone? So light pressure initially causes this end to stop making contact to that, and then heavy pressure makes contact to to that. Yeah, much simpler than I was expecting. And now it's time for it to be retired at the dump.